20 years after it went off the air, the legendary Murphy Brown returns to CBS tonight. Candace Bergen and Grant Shaw yeah. join us live from New York. It's great to have it's you guys. Good really morning. Great to see you all. Nice hey, to, Jeff and Sharon. Nice to talk to you both. I have to ask the obvious question first. How does it feel to be back after 20 years? Oh, we're so thrilled. We are, th we are thrilled. It's like a dream for us. And we, I mean, it's just like coming home. And even though home is now in New York rather than Burbank, mm -hmm. it's still home. And um, we have our perfectly recreated sets and we have our core group of actors. We have the same writers with additional writers. And we've added three cast members, including Tyne Daly, who, and they've all fit in so beautifully. Jeff, uh, Jake McDormand plays my son, Avery, who's now 28 and gorgeous and <laughs> a rival anchor, news anchor, on another station. And we have Nick Dodani, who plays the media director of the show. Now, now back when every the show... Day we, every day oh. we think it can't get any better, it just does. Yeah. See, now that's great. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we're looking forward to. The, the, the timber, though, is different today than it was yesterday in the news business. Mm -hmm. uh, 30 years ago, 25 years ago, television news was respected more than it is today. The political climate is different. There was no such thing as fake news. So how do you, how do you fit with that? Well, Murphy is in retirement. She hates it. And then and she wants to be back in the game, so she gets her gang together, who, Corky, Frank, and Miles, and we do a morning news show, and, and the whole mission for the news show is to tell the truth, that it's completely, meticulously fact-based, if anyone even remembers what a fact is. And, we um, and, and And we take everything on, and... Um, it's, and we really do yeah. take everything when you talk on about taking, <laughs> And when you talk about taking everything on, you're talking about social media, you're talking about fake news, as Jeff mentioned, well, some of the current and issues the fact are facing that us. We, we also, one of our missions is to restore respectability to the press, mm -hmm. since they had been declared the enemy of the people by someone, and, um, and to restore the importance of truth and, and facts. It, it, it doesn't sound particularly comedic, but it is. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, our characters, you know, are kind of coming from a place where we're sort of like, we're going to stick to the values we were raised with in our industry and let the chips fall where they may. So does that mean this time around that we will see more stories regarding the news as opposed to regarding maybe the characters' personal lives? Um, so far. So far, we're, we're dealing mostly with what's going on in the world and reporting on that. Uh, you know, if we'll see if we're around for a while, maybe we'll start to delve into personal lives a little bit yeah. more. I mean, you, you, every show we have a scene with Murphy and her son, Avery, in the townhouse because he's, in, but he's moved back to D.C. and he needs to stay at, in his mom's house for a while while he gets his footing. Mm -hmm. and, and the scenes between Murphy and Avery are very funny and, and sometimes touching. And the, the actor who plays Avery is really outstanding mm. and so cute. <laughs> Candace and Grant, we, we wish you the very best. It's, thank you so much for joining us. We're all so excited. The new Murphy thank Brown you. premieres tonight at 9.30 right here on CBS. My DVR is set. Yeah.